Hello everyone, welcome to another session. In this section, uh, I'm going to explain how to configure the account groups in SAP and, uh, and also how to define the re uh, return endings account and what is the importance of return endings account in SAP. Uh, so when coming to the this account groups, uh, generally in SAP, we will be defining the account groups in the OBD4 transaction code. So let me go to the OBD4. So here in this screen, we will be defining the account groups again is to our chart of accounts. So here I will be referring to this uh, chart of account, uh, one of my previous uh, company code chart of accounts. Let me find out that uh, chart of account here. Uh, somehow it's taking time, just a sec. Uh, due to the connection issue, just a second, let me re-login again okay. okay to create the account groups in SAP we need to access the transaction code OBD4 so here we will be defining the account groups again to our chart of accounts uh, let me okay So if I'm creating a new account group, we'll generally we will use new new entries. So for my previous, I'm copying from the, my previous uh, sort of account. So I'm copying this one, okay. So here we need to mention our sort of account, which is my 2001. And here we need to uh, give the naming convention for account group. For the balance sheet accounts, I'm giving as a BS. And for, for a profit and loss accounts, I'm giving PNL. And for the secondary cost element, and I'm giving a SECC. And this is uh, purely based on the client requirement. If the client requires uh, current assets, fixed asset, it's a breakup. Uh, based on the client requirement, we can create the account groups as many as we need. And uh, so for the balance sheet accounts, I'm using. Uh, from 1000 and for profit and loss account I'm using uh, 4002799 and for the secondary cost element I'm using the 8 series 8002899 and then hit on enter so here uh, we have one more option like uh, just let me save this first let's say and at uh, account group level so this is my balance sheet account group level at this account group level i can control the field status okay we have the field status option oh just a second a second we'll go back just select the account group and then click on uh, field status here we can control the field status uh, field status of the GL master data while creating the GL master data we will be having the fields right uh, from those fields we can control from here and it's a uh, it's at a chart of account level only this all the fields will be at a chart of account level so if anything is uh, not required we can uh, click on uh, suppress and display and if anything is a required entry we need then we can set as a required entry in the screen itself itself so just click on save and then the very next step we need to create a, a return endings account uh, to create the return endings account we need to use the transaction code ob53 so generally this uh, written endings account will be used uh, whenever we are executing the transaction code FAGL GBTR uh, as part of a uh, uh, year end close. So, what are the balances are there in a balance sheet accounts and PNL accounts? Those will be more transferred to the uh, transferred to the in our next physical year. So, generally, the balance sheet uh, balances will be transferred to the, the same balance sheet uh, GL accounts. And what are the PNL balances are there? Those will be transferred to this uh, written endings account okay so whenever i have uh, entered the transaction code ob53 it's asking for the chart of account it means this configuration is a chart of account level so i'm mentioning my chart of account as a 2001 uh, so for this i'm mentioning just 
let symbol and entering 199 just one random gl account i am mentioning it yes, then hit enter then click on save see we have uh, created the retained earnings account okay so that's all in this section thank you so much